What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you guys the new snap and turn around closure, which is right here. But before we get into that, all I want to say is thank you guys again for 100 subs. I really appreciate it. This channel is growing. Not the fastest, but you know, we're getting there. So subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I post a video. And if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you guys click the link in the description. Go follow that because I post pictures and videos that don't get shown on YouTube so you guys get some little sneak peeks at things before I post them on YouTube so if you guys want to see that make sure you guys go check it out but now let's get into the video So if you guys couldn't tell by just looking at the tub, you guys would remember that the baby painted turtles were in here. I did end up moving them to a different enclosure, that enclosure, which is a little smaller just because they're still babies. They didn't need all this space yet. And it was a lot. So I thought he could use it more just because he is growing a lot faster and he's been big. So it also looks a lot nicer, I would say. If I want to get some like logs and stuff, just to have some like driftwood in there to make it look more natural. Either that or just make like, another little basking platform right there. Just because I didn't make one yet, just because snapping turtles do not bask as much as other turtles. They rarely come out the water, they always have to stay under and hide. Which is why I still have the UVB light, but you don't really need it as much, but I'm still going to make one eventually. But he is currently... Oh shoot, so it looks like he ended up climbing over this and I'm going in there. The reason why I have these bricks right here is just so that the current coming out isn't as strong and moving the water all the way. It's because before I had these bricks, he would get pushed around the whole tub and he couldn't really stay, in, like, stay still in one spot. So this is just to you know, keep the water a little more still. But it looks like he made it into a hiding spot. So we're gonna have to, where is he? Oh. I don't know if you guys can see that, but here's his little head poking up. So we are gonna go and get this guy out of here. Come on, buddy. Got himself tangled up in these things. The people wanna see you, boy. Come on. Let's see if we can just pull this out and he'll come on. Oh, come on. This dude is just something else, I'll tell you. Come on, buddy. Ah, there he is. So you guys can see my boy Rex has gotten way bigger. He's only a year old. We had him since the size of a quarter. And look how much this little guy has grown. I did post a picture of him on our Instagram too. So, like I said, you guys would have seen that if you were following. But his shell is looking beautiful. Look at how big that boy has gotten. So let's go and fix up this plant really quick. Just because he wants to mess it all up and go in there like a dummy. But let's see. Fix this up. That's all good. Alright. Looking better. But he is right over here. Let's see if we can grab him really quick to show you guys. Look at this big boy. He is now like the size of my palm. It's crazy how much they grow in a year. I'm telling you guys, that's that Missouri pellet diet right here. If you guys aren't feeding that to your turtles, then highly recommend it. Because look at all this growth. He is very healthy. My big boy. I want to do some more feeding videos with him too. So if you guys want to see some of those, like this video and comment down below what you guys want me to feed him. And I'll gladly make some videos on that. Just because I love seeing this guy eat. And he's just amazing. So cool. But he's not as tame. He still tries to you know, bite once in a while. But haven't gotten bitten by him yet. 
which is good because that would really hurt. <laughs> but we have the same setup with the Fluval FX4 filter. Highly recommend this if you don't have a filter and you have a big problem like this or you're getting one at least. Highly recommend it. I do want to make my own filters eventually, so like here on out after this, I'm gonna make my own. So I'll make some videos on those, how to make that, and it's like little pond videos, the custom little filters. This point is all messed up, and I had it all nice and neat, and he wants to go and mess it all up. But I don't know what they're doing out there, they're hammering something, or whatever. But he's doing good, very active. He's probably gonna try and climb back in there, so we'll see. I'll probably have to black that off somewhere. But he's doing good. He's loving the new space. Like I said, I'll make another video once I make his little basking dock. And he has a place to come up if he wants to, which I highly doubt he'll use because he's never bassed before. But you know, who knows? So, that's pretty much it for him. This big boy is doing amazing. You wanna say bye? <laughs> Alright, we'll let him go and just leave him alone now. Leave him swimming away. Right, so that was just a quick little update on my snapping Silver Rex. I love making videos with him. He's just amazing. He's really cool. Like I said, if you guys want to see me make any feeding videos, just comment down below what you guys want me to feed him. Leave any suggestions. Like this video and then subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, new to the channel. We hit that 100 subscribers count I appreciate it it's amazing let's try and double that maybe even triple who knows so let's get some next is 1,000 let's get a thousand subs we can do it but like I said if you're not subscribed subscribe follow me on YouTube and turn on those post notifications so you don't miss out on any videos that I post and I'll see you guys on the next video